Hello friends, I am Vikram from EasyOn Technologies. Welcome to my project work series based on Spring MVC framework. In my previous video session, I discussed about the technology stack requirement of this contact application and then I discussed about the entity and database being used in this application and then I discussed about the process and flow of this contact application and in today's video session I'm going to talk about the wire framing so let's have a look at the presentation so what is wireframe so wireframe is actually a blueprint of the actual application will be developed and this is these are some mock screens we prepare before coming to the coding and these applications these uh, wireframes are helping us in understanding the final result of the uh, final result we'll get after the development so this this is the real feel of the application and this is also helping us to validate the final result which will be uh, generated after the coding and all so this is uh, sometime useful to uh, communicate with the client because client has given one idea and even sometime he is not confident about what will be the uh, result and he is confused about his idea itself so we never code the project directly we uh, prepare the mock screens and we uh, check with the client he uh, go through all your designs and he will feel confident if the idea is correct so sometime it is useful to validate your idea and this is also helping us in understanding the navigation uh, navigation means how the pages will be linked with each other and what page will be opened and the clear flow you will understand and also the arrangement of the information will be uh, easy to uh, work on the wire framing and uh, it is also helping for the layout how exactly your uh, website layout will be designed and the another part is sometime it is helping us in UX it is a user experience it's a kind of user friendliness behavior of the application means you have designed the uh, mock screens now you can validate the uh, user friendliness of your uh, user interfaces so this is validating your user interfaces this is also uh, helping us in communicating with the other people involved in the project because there will be tester in the project developers will be there clients will be there stakeholders are there and managers will be there so uh, UI screens graphical screens are always great idea to communicate with the team members and uh, the important part here is a placement of the information because you have prepared all these things and now it's time to uh, Check whether you have placed your information correctly or it is placed Somewhere internally which is not which is not visible to the user and user right so it is focused on the information placement and this designing can be done mock screens can be designed through the HTML or uh, uh, this can be designed on paper also in fact there are certain tools available for designing the mock screens so now I have uh, let's have a look at the uh, user uh, mock screens I have prepared for my application so this is the uh, mock screen for the uh, login form uh, and the user will uh, see here one login screen with the login name and password and there will be a link for user registration and you will have some menus here like this similarly you can see here the different screen this is second screen uh, which is for user registration so user details will take here from this form and then we user can register here after that once he is registered he can log in from the login form and uh, this is the uh, view of the dashboard so once he is logged in he will be landed in the dashboard and uh, look at this the menu options are updated here and user can uh, do different operations from this uh, dashboard I have not done anything for the profile page here so it is not linked right now so this is the uh, UI for the user dashboard similarly you can see the another page which is for the uh, new contact entry so user can add new contacts from this page similarly uh, once your contact is added you can check all the contact list here like this and you will get here search option and uh, 
uh, the records will be available and you can see here option for the edit and delete we have added here last column action so user can edit here and uh, user can delete the records from this these two links right similarly when user want to edit something look at this when user want to edit some record uh, the existing contact form will be reused here and the existing details will be pre-filled on this form and uh, user will update the information and save it so the same form will be reused for uh, new contact entry and editing the contact similarly uh, we can have here some option to delete when someone deletes a contact a message will be record will be deleted from the database and a message will be placed here contact deleted success, successfully like this now when uh, user is uh, logging to the application user will see a different screen here look at the options here the menus are updated here so admin can see different options admin can see the uh, admin dashboard user uh, list will be there profile admin can edit and yet admin can log out here so from the admin uh, page admin can check the user list this is the user list for the admin and uh, there is a provision for uh, activating or deactivating the account so admin can activate or block the user accounts from these uh, links we have added here so this is how the wireframing is working and this is very 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 useful for any project because visualizing your project using this wireframing is a great idea it's just like a real feel of the project so just prepare the wireframe and uh, uh, this is also helping you in many ways like uh, if you never do uh, the wireframing probably you may require a lot of changes in the original project once it is developed so it is better idea to prepare the mock screens discuss with the client discuss with other team members if they are advising some changes do the changes in mock screens right so taking changes in your project before development is always great but once your project is developed it is very difficult to adopt the user changes so there will be a difficulty and a lot of lot of reflection will be seen in the project if you uh, take the changes after the complete development so it's very useful and very important to uh, prepare the mock screens and uh, do all the changes whatever people advise you and that's all for today that's enough for this video and uh, if you have any queries you just uh, ask your queries in comments and if you like my channel if you want my uh, updates you just subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching